Yeah, uh, memorable characters that came into wrestling. Uh, Giant Gonzalez, you brought him in, and uh, WrestleMania 9 against Taker. What was Giant Gonzalez like? I loved it. And you know what? It's funny. In a bad way, everybody y'all keep mentioning I used to manage. I know. Yeah, crazy. What? You better be glad they never put me with you. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, we're in this interview soon. Right. I'll go talk about Kamala in a minute, and that's another one, sadly. What's that? I'm sorry? I was going to mention Kamala as well, and obviously he's passed away since as well. Yeah, he's from uh, Tate County, Mississippi, which is one county south of the Soto County, Mile. So, uh, yeah, and, and Bertha Faye, Kamala, Giant Gonzalez, Bully Busick, Well Done, which was uh, Steve Dollar Rex King. Yes. All of them. They're all dead. Wow. Everybody. Bertha Faye, well, I think I mentioned her. The only two that I managed that are, are, are still living, no, there's four. Juan Rivera is still living. Uh, Brian Clark, who was Adam Bomb, is still living. Uh, Sid is still living, of course, and Warlord. I killed the rest of them, evidently. <laughs> Damn, Bruno. You're like the Grim <laughs> Reaper over there. Oh, my God. I, what do you think about it? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm glad I'm still living. Right, right. I so, yeah, so uh, um, Giant Gonzalez. How was he outside the ring? Was he a quiet guy? Was he, you know, what was his personality was just, like? You know what? He was just like us. He was like yeah. a cool guy. Like, if you didn't know he was eight foot tall, like, if you were just sitting on a Zoom with him and couldn't right. see that he you know, eight foot tall, you just think he was another guy like us. He was a cool guy. I mean, he was a, I have zero bad to say about him uh, right. other than it worked. But I mean, that's, uh, you'd know I was a liar if I said he was a great worker, you know, because he right. wasn't. But, but he wasn't hired to be a great worker. He was hired to be eight foot tall, and, you know. That's it. But super guy. Man, we had a good time uh, traveling together and, and, and just a great guy. I can't say enough good things about him. He's another one. We're talking about deaths that affected me. That really got me when he went. You know, and he was in poverty. You know, I don't know if, if you keep up with, like, the international news or whatever, but back then, Argentina, where he's from, the country went bankrupt. Yes. And all of whatever money he had was gone. He was completely broke. Wow. I mean, completely. I used to send him money. You know, not big amounts. Wow. And, American money was the only money that was good over there. Their money was like monopoly money. So I couldn't just send it in an envelope because somebody would open it and steal it. So I would send him wrestling magazines. He liked cars. I would send him like, you know, Motor Trend, you know, whatever. But in the magazine, I would put $50 bill, a $20 bill, whatever. You know, I'm not rich. I never made huge money, so I couldn't send him tons. But I always sent him money. and He, he would just be so grateful. And then... He had his, his royalty checks. They weren't big ones, but he would get little royalty checks from WWE. He'd have them sent to my house, and I was able to cash them, and I'd put whatever that money was in the magazines and send it to him. You know, it might have been 200 bucks here, 400 there, whatever. But I would I would send it to him up until he died. And when he died, of course, I called the person and said, look, he's no longer with us, so, you know. And they want to know if he had any family members that they could send his royalties to. I said, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't reach anybody over right, there. Right. But uh, yeah, I used to always make sure he had, and I would send him boxes of things that he wanted that he couldn't get over there. Like he always had a, he was diabetic. Mm. So I, I don't know nothing about it because I'm not diabetic, but evidently, I don't know if it was the diabetes itself or the medicine, but it made his stomach always uh, upset. So I would send him, Rolays and Tums and, 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 and uh, Pepto-Bismol and stuff like that because he couldn't get it over there. I always right. looked after him. He was a good guy, really good. I, and I miss him greatly. We always had a good time together. Very good time. Yeah. 